Okay, we got a big trade in the NBA today. James Harden, the man whose jersey is retired in the strip club in Houston. Nowhere else, just the strip club in Houston. He is, he is, he's a Philadelphia 76er. Now, why don't I like that for Philly? Because James Harden, he's three times as fat as he was a couple years ago. He, his best friend is a little baby. I've seen a little baby on podcasts twitching, having like mini seizures from the lean. Harden looks like shit. He's got soft tissue injuries. He's 33. His jersey retired in the strip club, which means he spends an awful lot of time there. And he looks like shit. He looks like what I think he might be doing. So coming from a guy who's a little smart in the street and sports, I don't like Harden at all. Um, Nets, big winners, big winners. Now you got Seth Curry, Drummond, and Ben Simmons. Now, Ben Simmons, they were trying to say, well, he's going to be like a Draymond Green. No, he's not. Stop. Like, Draymond Green can actually shoot. But I understand what they say with the passing stuff, but he's not Draymond Green. That's a bad comparison. It's stupid. Um, ben Simmons, nice player, but um, see if he can get his mental back after he went to pieces. But um, I really like Kyrie Irving, Curry, Simmons, Durant, and Aldridge. And then drumming off the bench if they don't trade him and make another move. But still, Irving, Curry, Simmons, Durant, and Aldridge, that's a, that's a formidable starting five. And now you just picked up three players for one, and they got two first-round draft picks. But three three dudes, Curry, Drummond, and Simmons, and then the Sixers projected start at five is Harden, Maxi, Danny Green, Tobias Harris, and Embiid. So they're kind of going without a power forward. Danny Green and Tobias Harris are like two small forwards, and then Maxi and Harden. So you're basically playing four guards with Embiid. But they're like, you know, Tobias, they're, he's long, but he's not a power, he's not a four. So the Nets are starting two point guards, two small forwards in the center. Harden and Maxi, Green and Harris, and B. So they're fucking weird now. Now Philly is shit. Thank God they didn't trade Maxi. That's probably why they had to put Steph Curry in the deal, because you can't trade Maxi. I heard a lot of people say last night, well, maybe Harden will go if they trade Maxi. What are you, stupid? Maxi is terrific. You don't trade a young point guard. Do you know anything about basketball? Do you know about Doc Rivers playing with the Celtics? When Doc Rivers was uh, coaching the Celtics, he had a young point guard. They got Marbury in 08. They, I don't know if you guys remember this. They went and grabbed Stephon Marbury, Sam Cassell, but they started this unknown rookie because Doc Rivers is not afraid to start a young point guard. His name was Ray John Rondo. They won a title. Fast forward eight years after that. A couple years ago with the Clippers, Doc Rivers had a nice team, right? Who did he start at point guard? Shea Gilgis Alexander. He loved Shea. Put him right at the one. Now, here we go again. He saw something in Maxi. Doc Rivers is like the point guard whisperer. Doc Rivers knows his point guard. So when I saw Doc go with Maxi early, and then they're saying, well, he might trade. No, no, I traded Maxi. Come on. Come on, kiddies. Learn your basketball. But um, Nets are the big winners in this trade because they got three guys. They got a sharpshooter. They got a guy that's very athletic, and they got a guy that can lead the league in rebounding. So when you get three guys like that for a, a, a fat, bearded, has-been, doing the wrong thing off the court, creep, you lose. Nets win, Philly loses. Neighborhood picks.